Hello? Oh, welcome ah. to Game Sales. How can I help you? Ho, ho, whoa, whoa. Are you okay? Of course, I'm fine. I'm just manning the shop. Okay. Whew. Actually, I didn't think you'd be open given the current outbreak situation. Well, actually, we're here because we care about gamers like you. And we want to make sure you're entertained while you keep your social distance. Great. That's why I'm here. Is there anything new that you can recommend me to keep me entertained? Why, of course! Great, what is it? It's Resident Evil 3. Wait, what? Are we going to do this again? Do what again? Don't you remember? I was here after playing Resident Evil 7, hoping for a new entry to the series. And you recommended Resident Evil 2. Now you're recommending Resident Evil 3. Why not Resident Evil 8? I want a new Resident Evil game. This is a new Resident Evil game! Fine. It's a new game, so tell me, why should I buy this game? You should buy it for its amazing story! Can I guess who is the main protagonist? Sure! It's Jill Valentine? Yes! Wait, 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 can I guess the story? Yes! Okay, so you play as Jill Valentine, trying to escape a city filled with zombies and other creatures. This city was infected by an outbreak that began with the experiments from one evil corporation. While running from a terrible monster that's out to make sure you don't make it out of the city alive. After a tough time trying to escape, you eventually find yourself in a park. And then in an abandoned factory. That's when you- Wait! What? You were close! But the game's events are quite different. Oh, so this is like a new game? Yes! Fine, so what's updated in this game? Well, I won't tell you too much, but what I can say is you'll love the graphics, you'll love the gameplay, and you'll love the story. Oh great, I love the story of the original Resident Evil 3 and the branching paths that it had. Oh! What? There are no branching paths in this one. Oh, okay, well... Well, I love the Mercenaries game mode. That was fun and cool and let you unlock new items for the game. Uh, uh, yeah, that sounds good. What? You don't get Mercenaries mode either. Do you at least get to buy weapons and like special perks? Sure! By playing the game again and completing special tasks. Oh, well, okay. But the game comes with a special online game called Resident Evil Resistance. Cool, what's that about? You take the role of either a survivor or an evil scientist that works with Umbrella. Okay, so what happens? Well, if you're a survivor, you just try to make your way to escape the evil Umbrella-owned lab by getting past all the traps, zombies, and all while solving puzzles to escape the next room. Well, that sounds interesting. What if you're the scientist? Well, then it's up to you to kill all the survivors. That's kind of sad. Yeah, it's the perfect way to spend your day while trapped inside. So will you buy the game? Hmm. I don't know. Why not? Well, I played Resident Evil 2 Remake and the original. They were similar, but the replayability was not as good as the first. They took out Mercenaries mode and the choices you can make in this game. The original RE3 was meant to be a spin-off and a short game to begin with. Capcom's had years to expand the story in this one, so I'm sure it's a full game this time, right? It's long enough! Hey, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more of the Game Sales Guide, just let me know what other games I should cover in that series. I hope you like, share, and of course, make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and I'm out. Thank you for supporting my channel. Take care.